Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to use those old fidget spinners to make your own pencil gyroscope. Check this out. To make your own pencil gyroscope, all you need is a fidget spinner, a pencil, and some tape. The first step is to take the edge of a spoon or a spatula and pry off the center tab on your fidget spinner. And it should just pop right off like so. Here's one side. And then you want to pry off the other side in the same way. So you can see a hole in the center and that's what you're going to put your pencil through. The next step is to measure your pencil. So your pencil should be able to pass right through the center of the fidget spinner. And I find that it balances better if you keep it pretty close to the base. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of space there. If you take your tape and just wrap some tape around the base of your pencil, you'll increase its diameter so the fidget spinner is tight when it goes around the bottom of your pencil. So after you add some tape to it, then simply slide your fidget spinner back over it and you can press it down and it'll stay on there a lot tighter. And now you're ready to test your fidget spinning gyroscopic pencil. So why doesn't the pencil fall over when the fidget spinner is spinning? Well, this is another example of the conservation of angular momentum, which simply states that a rotating object will continue to maintain its rotation and its position until an external force acts upon it. Now, in that case, that can just be the friction of the table, that can be air pressure in the room. Eventually, the fidget spinner will stop turning and the pencil will fall over. But the reason it stays upright is because because of the conservation of angular momentum. Pretty cool. All you need is just a pencil and a fidget spinner. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.